reviewing today is The Sweetness at the Bottom of the Pie by Alan Bradley. Bradley was born in Toronto, Canada, but now lives with his wife and two cats in Malta. The Sweetness at the Bottom of the Pie stars Flavia de Luce in the first of the Flavia de Luce mystery novel series, the second being The Weed That Strings the Hangman's Bag, and the third being A Red Herring Without Mustard. Other books by Alan Bradley include Miss Holmes of Baker Street, The Shoebox Bible, and he has written many other short stories. This story is set in Bishop Slacy in England in 1950. There thrives Flavia de Luce, the aspiring chemist with a love for poison, in the dilapidated Buckshaw Mansion with her two sisters, Ophelia and Daphne, her father, Dogger the Gardener, and Mrs. Mullet the Cook. One afternoon, a dead bird is found on the doorstep with a postage stamp skewered onto its beak. Early the next morning, Flavia discovers a man in the garden. Flavia watches as he breathes his last, along with the word valet. Who is this man? Why was he at Buckshot? And what does valet mean? Flavia is determined to find out. At one point in the book, Flavia is held captive by the murderer in an old grease pit. This is my favorite part because it is a dire situation for Flavia, and to see her thought process is very interesting. For example, Flavia feels a draft and realizes that there has to be an opening at the bottom of the pit. This then leads her to systematically search her surroundings, all the while gagged, blindfolded, and with her hands and ankles bound. I would give this book 5 out of 5 stars because the plot is very intricate and kept me guessing right up until the end. What I didn't like about the book is that there were times when it would drag on a bit about unimportant things, but those things either turned out to be vital clues or were soon forgotten in the excitement of the book. Thanks for listening. Valet.